Now, I got this material quite a few years back. It, it may very well be from the Tantara mine. Now, even though um, it, it's atypical to Chrysocola, the uh, closest I can come on ID at this stage still is Chrysocola. The black uh, on top of it would be uh, a girthite. Uh, formerly known as limonite, so the old limonite, now known as girthite. There's even some girthite crystals sitting in there. What is so exquisite about these is actually the shape. You need to look at, um, first of all, the color is more like this, maybe a little bit brighter than that. And uh, when we turn it over, have a look at that. It's like a like a fan, a whole, whole little artwork in motion here. Um, that, I think, is the main focus on this. And, of course, a lovely, lovely baby powder blue. Um, so, not a dark blue, a light blue. And lovely, lovely form. And that's from the Katanga Copper Crescent, Copper Mines of the Congo. I, I suspect the Tantara Mine. And this did come out maybe early 2000s. So, this is his older material. I like the form on these. Um, very abstract forms. And this is nature, nature's artists sitting around doing this, this wonderful creations, these wonderful creations. And the, the form itself, when you look closer at the crystals, it, it almost has the form of Chrysocolla, but it's, it's somehow, I don't think it is Chrysocolla.